Let's check your first alert forecast one more time. Lonnie Quinn is here. We're talking about rain at some point coming up. Yeah, oh, there's definitely some rain out there right now. It's really pushing more towards our northwest suburbs, but I think as you're sleeping, it could move southerly as well. So here's my picture. You are some, you do see some clouds out there, so you are dealing with that overhead, but it's really just kind of a mild night. I mean, it's 77, but it's still muggy outside, and that's not going to change over the next few days outside. 88, the high temperature today, 85. Should be where you stop. Nope, you kept going out there. And some of you made it to the 90 degree mark. You were 90 on the nose in Poughkeepsie. And above that, Newark over to Somerville, 92 degrees. And this area, okay, this is your second day with 90 plus temperatures. I think you probably have three, if not four more of those to go. So this will be an extended heat wave for you. For New York City, 88 today, you're about 87 degrees tomorrow. If you're going to find 90 in the city itself, I think the chance would be on Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday. So maybe a, a low-grade heat wave there for the city as well. We are looking at a pop-up chance for a shower or storm out there, and we just keep you again on the humid side. Right now, today, you've been dealing with about a 20% chance. Tomorrow, you're going to double it. It's about a 40% risk. It is not a washout of a day. It's not raining all day long. It's not, but especially into the afternoon hours, 40% risk for a shower or storm. Drop it down a bit on Thursday to a 20% chance, maybe a 30% chance on Friday. Then you're looking at a 40% chance for Saturday and I think both weekend days will hold a bit of a rain chance out there but this is the big rain currently zoom in on that because I've been watching this now for quite a while it hasn't made a big push to the east because we're still getting that blocking high offshore slowing everything up but this has been shrinking a bit except tell that to people in Hazleton I mean they're just getting pounded with rain and if you get a cell like this all right depicted by this deep red color if that sets up in your neighborhood for an hour you're definitely going to be picking up an inch of rain out of that. The fact is, they're pretty quick movers. You shouldn't see it for an hour at a time, but hey, there's a possibility for some flash flooding, especially north of New York City. It's not an overwhelming risk. This area is shaded in green, sort of a Kermit the Frog green color, but a 10% risk. Now, we see that yellow color up into like you know, southern Maine. That's a 20% risk, and that's where we think it's more likely to be found. But here's how we see things working out. This is 5 o'clock in the morning, some pockets of heavy rain, but again, scattered outside. As you get into the afternoon, you're going to see it scattered outside again. And this looks to be primarily, if you saw that, pushing through the area north of New York City. This is 10 p.m., and now we make our way into Thursday. 5 a.m. Thursday looks fine, but you get into Thursday afternoon, and you're still going to see a chance for a shower or storm. Even on Friday, there's that chance out there. So here's how we see everything coming together. We're going to go with that rain chance for tomorrow and for Thursday. You're 87 tomorrow. You're 92 on Thursday. Friday, there's still a chance for some rain, especially later in the day, and that lingers into your weekend. We bump those chances up a bit for Saturday and Sunday. Monday, you're 85. Tuesday, 85. As of right now, looking unsettled throughout the seven-day time mm, period, which means okay. no one day a washout, but every day with a chance. Be ready. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. Okay.